got it here another most powerful uh, blowtorch for the kitchen so as you can see it's a collider refillable and i really like the slick design so that way it does not overheat so it's like a heat diffuser so let's figure it out how to actually uh, turn it on and off wow the whole top over here will move so this is on and this is off right here okay we're gonna fill it up oh yeah you can feel it that it just fills up pretty good I'm gonna make sure I fill it quite a bit so that way we actually put it to the test pretty good uh, full power when it's full okay so whenever you turn it on a little bit then you press it then you can adjust it that's pretty amazing so you can really have a little flame it's gonna whoa look how big the flame can be and then it's like too much that's a really really big flame that's for sure check this out so if you need to caramelize something no problem just turn it on blast it adjust it slow and that way you can really caramelize something weld it whatever you have to do that's pretty amazing so i'm gonna refill it a little bit more refilling part is really amazing i'm using one of this uh butane fill cups and it's not losing any fill at all so one more time just twist it just a little bit and it's pretty sensitive to adjust it you see sometimes it shuts off i wish that wouldn't happen but nevertheless it's pretty powerful as you can see so let's go put to the test the actual power on the aluminum can right now you don't see the flame that's pretty fast don't you guys think let's flip it over do it a couple of more times so turn it on a bit sensitive that's why i don't like it also it's so bright you cannot see the flame but look at that caramelize the whole can okay one more time on this side that's pretty crazy and that's why it looks like in a dark room as you can see really hard to adjust it with one hand so you gotta adjust it again and start it so not the most reliable but look at that flame i mean you probably don't even need more flame than that But if you have to, there you go. So that's a little bit of minus about this thing. If it uh, shuts off, maybe it shouldn't be going up so high. You see? So this is probably the maximum I could actually use it. But this is the flame at least like what? Six to eight inches, pretty crazy. So yeah, pretty awesome powerful lighter and fill it not too hot so it does not overheat. That's crazy. Love it. Got it here, another miniature Chinese chainsaw. This mini chainsaw is super spam on Amazon and eBay. Heavily, heavily. They are everywhere, so many different kinds. So let's see what this thing is all about. So obviously we're gonna charge up this battery. Gonna set it real quick right now and then we're gonna put it to the test this one is a little bit long guys you can see this blade very interesting shiny chain over here that's cool so let's plug it all in and this right here adjustment with the knob spinner ball that's quite unique so you don't need a screwdriver okay make it tight that's quite nice ok 
okay don't forget the bar oil okay it's not automatic ejection so you gotta spray it right here like a spray bottle and the oil will come out that's quite unique but yeah that's cool okay let's turn on the battery and see how well it's going to work this thing looks pretty awesome okay let's plug it in Okay, what is this? 8x2? Let's see how well it's going to work. What happened? Wow, it works really good. I can't believe it. Kind of getting stuck because I'm pushing too hard. And that's 8x2, that's good. What about this bigger 8x8 log? Let's see. Not bad, it's cutting it fast. Wow, check this out. 8x8, eight eight, I think it is. Cut it so fast. Now let's go try to, to do this on a regular trees. That is a nice looking stick. Wow, look at that. Cut it too quickly. There is another stick. Not bad. Okay, one more time. You see, pushing too hard, it gets stuck. You kind of have to let it its own weight cutting it. Whenever you push it, it gets stuck. But it's pretty powerful. I like it for such a mini chainsaw. Pretty cool. Okay. That's a little bit thicker. Let's try it out. Nice. Check this out. That's a really thick log over here. Let's try to cut it in half one more time. Ah, push it too hard. Yeah, don't push it hard. But yeah, look at this nice chips. It's pushing it together. Nice. Look at that. It's a big log and it's chopping it really, really good. What about 2x4 and the old deck? Oh. Too hard. Yeah, getting stopped. Okay, not bad. What about now? Getting stopped. Butter is dead or something. Yeah, the battery died. I didn't charge it all the way, but yeah, pretty awesome mini chainsaw. I wonder how long the battery actually charged for, how long you can cut before you need a new battery. But yeah, interesting, funny little tool. Got another folding fire pit. Let's see what this thing is all about. So there's instructions. Very simple and advertisement for other ones. Whoa, that's heavy. First impressions, what we got here? A uh, really, really heavy fire pit. Would I be bringing this camping? Maybe for the RV or a truck where I don't have to hike very long, but this thing is incredibly heavy. But again, it's gonna last forever. 
I have bought those cheap uh, fire pits from Lowe's. There's like $50. One time I didn't even use it. I just have it outside and it just rusted too. So they only last the season. With this kind of fire pits, I'll tell you what, because it's such a, a heavy steel plate, all you have to do maybe uh, spray paint it once in a while or paint it. Um, it's going to last you a lot longer. So it goes like that. It slides it in. Then we need this piece and slide this in. Heavy duty pieces for sure. Look at that. And then I can even flip it around to show it to you and slide this in. I guess I could bring this fire pit again if it's not a lot of hiking. I seen some beaches required for you to have a fire pits and that way you can burn on a beach by the sand, by the water, as long as you have fire pits. So that's kind of a nice option. Okay, and how does the middle go? I guess there's a hole for the finger. It falls too all the way. Now I'm confused. Aha! Uh -huh. See my simple mistake? I put it in the wrong spot. This is supposed to be on the inside. But luckily it's pretty easy to take it apart and put it together. So just take one piece out at the time. And look, again, made a mistake, not a big deal. Flip it over, put it inside here. It just looks a lot better on the other side, that's why I thought it's this way. And then slide this one in. Again, this is kind of nice that I messed it up, so that's why you guys can see how easy it is to put it together. Now this one gonna go slide in all at the top. And boom, you have a really nice fire pit that is really heavy duty and not too big. By the way, you can actually buy bigger ones. That's the smallest one they make. So maybe I'll show you guys the bigger one. They highly, highly like adjustable and stuff. So let's say we're done. How do we take it apart? Obviously take the middle once it cools off. Again, super easy to take it apart and put it together. Slide these pieces out. Also, I like it. There is black because usually those shiny fire pits uh, discolor it anyways and they're not so shiny. This one is already black. So take it all apart. Very, very heavy. So get some kind of like a special holder for yourself. And it is definitely not hiking for a long time. Love that. But I probably will set it up around the house. It will last forever. And if I have to move it, I can do it very easily by taking it apart. And if I'm not using it, I can save it for later, somewhere store it in the garage without taking up a lot of space. So it's also very nice. They just call it all-purpose light. So I showed you not too long ago a big tower. This one is a miniature. That's so cute. Look at that. Four handles. You can grab it anywhere. So just grab it and go. Also, wow, nice. There's a hook. You can hang it upside down like a lamp. You see it? So it will be like a light bulb. Also, looks like there is a big tripod hole, so you can put it on the tripod. Actually, a little one too. I would put it on a big tripod for sure because it's quite big. Uh, 20 volt battery goes in here. I charged up a bunch. So as simple as that. Looks like maybe Bluetooth. Don't really care about Bluetooth for my light. I don't like using my cell phone for all these gadgets could just junk it up. I just want to turn it on and off manually, not with my cell phone. Maybe some people find it useful to turn it on and off with the cell phone. You know, I usually buy a gadget a few weeks before I make a video of it. And guess what? This thing sell out pretty quickly, especially these bigger items. I think they kind of built limited. So anyways, turn it on. Wow, that's so bright. It is not the brightest day. But as you can see, it's really bright. So there's a bunch of settings. What happens if I hold it? Nothing. So, looks like three different settings. And, and it's not a good idea looking at it directly into this light because it's kind of hurting my eyes. So this is really, really bright. Obviously through the camera it will be fine because camera just adjusts. But yeah, let's go put it to the test 
in the dark see what it looks like so I left a little bit of light on so you can actually see a little bit of stuff but as you can see camera will overexposed and will adjust so there's brightness few different settings so if you want to just concern some energy you can go like that medium and bright obviously the bright is probably be the best that thing is amazing you set it on the floor and what's so cool about that as you can see you see everything around it you pretty much see like the floor uh, and the top so it's bright from the bottom up uh, but if you want to do it from the top bottom you can also do that all you have to do is just find something to hang it on uh, let's just do it on this pipe it'll be fine boom and as you can see it is pretty bright camera over exposing like crazy so i'm just gonna set it so that's pretty genius obviously it's too close to the wall to see anything but if you're working on something like over here check this out it's really really bright is it the brightest there you go that's the brightest so if you need to work on these pumps over here pipes you can do so no problem check this out obviously over here as well a little, little bright too but you could probably hang it somewhere better look how easy it is to grab it carry it let me just hook it right here for a minute and look how bright this is this is just like a little light bulb over here this is amazing far away view you, you guys be the judge but this thing is pretty impressive make sure you get multiple batteries with you so that way if it turns out you have some more and you have light i could walk <laughs> and see everything over that light and if i turn on a regular light uh, this definitely overpowers this light bulb let me turn it off so that way you guys can see sometimes you just need an extra light look at it i turned it off look how dark that is compared to with this walk light yeah amazing get in here another bottle box subscription box survival tactical gear deliver monthly so let's see what we got this time so there's a little brochure and check this out they actually got their own tv show pretty cool so what we got here uh, looks like uh, some kind of dried food this is nice usually these things don't go bad for many many years so that's cool this things are around eight to six dollars but it tells you over here the actual prices was i good no this is actually twelve dollars that makes sense okay what else we have here took me a minute to figure it out what it is but it is pretty much multi-light they come apart and also it becomes into signal like kind of a, like a glow stick and also it comes with a one two three four replacement batteries that's pretty awesome so pretty much like a glow stick light okay looks like we got woolly good sucks what is that right here climbing a rope or like actually hanging a top tool that's quite unique you see that there is a special way to put the rope through here and it's i guess locks it in and then you hang it on the other side and there's also a hook right here to kind of tighten up a tart or whatever and it also has bottle opener that's pretty unique okay what is that so it looks like a multi-tool rechargeable flashlight hybrid solar so it looks like it has a magnet to put it on the car okay cool a little fishing lure over here so i guess that's something you would set it up and i guess the fish will catch it pretty unique you see it and it looks like we got right here another knife let's see what we got it looks like it's tightened up right here okay lord of the field trading for nice wrapped in a wax paper Ooh, i like this handle already this is nice okay wow interesting knife over here really thick 
blade but look at the choice of the blade shape looks like a spoon or a butter knife but this is not even close to a butter knife it's a little, little sharp but yeah to me it looks like a, a everyday carry butter knife bushcrafting knife so it's kind of interesting design i like it this is a fixed blade knife, not a folding knife. Let's see how much that is. they say they go for a tail value. $95. Yeah, usually that's what I get around a $100 knife. And it comes with a pretty nice sheath over here. So I guess you put it sideways onto the belt like that. So yeah, this is what I got this time onto the bottle box couple of food, flashlight sucks. That's pretty unique, I never seen before. So I'll be putting it to the test maybe. And this one right here, unique glow stick flashlight too. So yeah, let me know in comments below, what do you think about this bottle box?